Today is my very last GP placement of pre-clinical year and it's making me really nervous. I actually think I'm shaking. It's not often you can say you've been out in your pajamas and been this comfortable. It's literally like the worst thing in the entire world. So excited and so ready to get home now. my loves and welcome back to my channel so somehow just like that it is the very last week of medical school before the easter holidays and it feels so surreal to think that my second year is coming to an end but the holidays are not here yet and of course as always we have a very busy week on the run-up to heading home so much to get done and so many exciting plans so of course i thought i would bring you all along so if you do like the sound of today's video please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you click that little subscribe button and join the family for all things medicine uni lifestyle productivity there really is something for everyone and it would mean the world if you just click that little button anyway right now it's actually nine o'clock on monday morning i got up nice and early got some breakfast did my yoga and now i'm just ready to head off to the medical school today is mainly my decision making module but we also have a little bit to do for my brain and behavior module as well but my main priority of the day is I'm actually applying to be part of the Birmingham MedSoc committee which is so exciting but also I'm so nervous it's basically like the board that helps with all the activities for MedSoc and I'm going for sponsorship rep which would be organizing all of the sponsors and getting our MedSoc discount cards sorted as well however there is a whole voting stage that I need to get through and I also need to do my manifesto and my campaign and everything like that is getting sorted today and there is a meeting for that at five o'clock but that is enough of me rambling let's grab my meal prep that I made for lunch for the week out of the fridge and get ourselves to the medical school for the day and a start of a very productive week. After settling down at my favourite spot in the library, I then time blocked and planned out my day using my daily planner before starting with some pre-recorded lectures for my brain and behaviour module, of course writing my Anki flashcards as I went along, which is my favourite method to write my notes at medical school. It was then time to head for a much needed lunch break and enjoy some sun outside before getting on with an hour of my due Anki flashcards for the day and heading to a live lecture. Before for finishing off my pre-recorded lectures and getting ready for the MedSoc meeting. So I'm literally just about to head off to this MedSoc committee meeting and it's called a hustling which basically means you need to present why you think you'd be good at the bowl to everyone and as you will have seen from my video last week about my dyslexia public speaking is something that I get very very nervous about. So I just spent 20 minutes prepping what I'm going to say. Obviously I'm not going to sit here and read it off my phone but having some prompts about what I'm going to say really helps me not jubble around my words and just feel a little bit more confident. Wish me luck everyone and I'll see you later. So guys I'm just sat with Bilal and he's reading my speech for me. It's very good. No no his is so much better than mine it makes way more logical sense and it's making me really nervous I actually think I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. You're not nervous? I'm good at public speaking. No. I'm, I'm cocky. Yeah, he's calm and collected. He's going for pharmacy rep, by the way, everyone. So make sure you vote. Actually, you can't vote because by the time this comes out, yeah. Yeah. you'll know. Hopefully, we'll both be on the committee. Does anyone have any questions before we get going? And together, we're making naps. So if you may not know, which probably is not the case because we won't shut up about it, we're going for your entertainment reps. And I'm running for your MedSoc sponsorship rep this year. So some of you might recognise me from my YouTube channel. I obviously have my camera around me over gone at quarter past seven and I just got back from the medical school after doing my manifesto and listening to everyone else's who are applying for all the different positions I then had my PAP meeting which is basically a big group we have at Birmingham which is a doctor and then loads of medical students across all the different years and it's just like a little support session where you find out how everyone's getting on and it was really interesting to hear their advice from the third fourth and fifth years but tonight I also need to edit this week's video and of course get some dinner because I I'm getting very, very hungry, but I am in the best mood ever because look, it's still light outside at quarter past seven and the clocks did go back this weekend, which meant that it felt very early getting up this morning, but it's beyond worth it to be leaving the medical school back home when it is not dark, which has literally not happened. And it means we're going into the spring and summer months, which are my absolute 
favourites. After my favourite bowl of pasta for dinner, I then got on with some editing, but suddenly realised I'd forgotten an important task. It's just gone 10, and I was very manically just doing my end of placement review for tomorrow, because somehow it is my very last GP placement tomorrow. And we basically just have this document that I completely forgot all about that we need to fill out and just answer some questions on what we've learned and our experiences. So I just finished that off, and now I am absolutely shattered. I can safely say I am incredibly ready for bed. I'm actually going to have a shower, pop on a little bit of Netflix. I'm actually watching Inventing Anna. It's really good. I would really recommend it. Also going to plan my day for tomorrow. This is something I like to do every single evening is I just come up with a rough plan for at least the morning if I don't want to plan the whole day and write down a little to-do list to just end the evening and have a clear head to start the next day in the best possible way. As you'll know, I love and thrive off of routine. So Tuesday started like any other, writing in my gratitude journal before doing some small affirmations and then heading downstairs and making my favorite overnight oats before watching a bit of YouTube and then finishing off my end of placement review. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. So today is my very last GP placement of preclinical years, which is absolutely surreal. I can't believe how fast it's gone around. But as you can see, I'm still sat in my little room and not in my surgery. And that's because my last one, unfortunately, it does have to be on Zoom and not in person because of all the COVID stuff, which is a little bit annoying and a summary of my placement experience. However, I have still really enjoyed my GP placement. I've learned so much and had a lot of practice talking to patients on the phone which has been so helpful in so many ways. It's now nearly nine o'clock and I'm about to log on to Zoom for the day. There are definitely positives of having a GP placement at home. The fact you get to start later and you miss out on the commute. I'm also sat in my leggings at my little comfy desk so I can't complain too much but yes I don't want to be late for my last one so let's log into Zoom and have a really good last day. I've just been sat on Zoom for the morning and today's theme is just all about history gathering from a patient and making sure that we've really perfected how to do that and the best way to approach it. Right now we've just got 10 minutes to prepare for we're actually doing a little bit of role play where I'm going to be a doctor and my patient has chest pain. Just finished with role plays and I was actually really happy with how mine went. I feel so much more confident at taking histories. Obviously there were still a few bits and bobs that I missed out on but you seem really pleased with it overall. But of course as always I'm going to go and grab my meal prep and then this afternoon we're doing some more role plays and then just going over anything that we want recapping and revising so that'd be really helpful. I've just got off Zoom and finished my GP placement for the day. Well, GP placement has now finished for second year, which, I mean, it actually doesn't feel real saying that. It's gone so, so quickly. It's actually only four o'clock and we finished slightly earlier today, which is a really lovely way to end and gain an extra hour. We just finished off the day by one-on-one, -on -one going through our end of placement review with my GP tutor. We just went through how I was feeling about everything, a few top tips, and also he reiterated what a good role player I was the previous previous week and that I should seriously consider a career in role playing and taking up as a part time job. I mean maybe I'll think about it, for all else fails role playing could be the way but anyway I'm literally just about to take myself off to the gym because my brain literally just feel like it's about to explode. I don't know whether I'm just a little bit tired or whether I just need to get out of this room but I'm hoping a little bit of a mental break, some exercise is going to be exactly what I need so I can get back to work after. I really switched between being a morning and evening gym person but at the moment I am loving going at the evenings to just clear my head or take a break at the end of a very long day but let me know in the comments whether you're a morning, midday or evening person. My favourite time is midday but obviously with my routine that is just not possible all the time. I just got back from my very sweaty workout. I have to say it felt so good mentally to get to the gym and then I've gotten back to a really exciting pass. So you might be thinking Anna what earth are you doing with a load of pearls around your neck however on Thursday evening I actually have one of my friends 21st birthday parties which I'm so excited about and it is a great Gatsby theme so from Amazon I ordered these giant pearls which I'm so happy with and I also got one of these like flapper girl headbands to go on as well and you're gonna have to wait to see the whole outfit put together on Thursday anyway right now I'm going to get on with an hours of work I have some anatomy prep that I need to do I also think I'm gonna finish 
finish off some of my lectures from yesterday as well. After doing some anatomy prep, I then finished off my decision making module with a really moving lecture all about migration and immigration, which made me reflect on just how lucky I am to live in a stable country and have a roof over my head before heading and getting some dinner, then having a chill and getting to bed. Good morning everyone. So it is now Wednesday and we're actually in a little bit of a rush this morning because I set my alarm slightly later today because I just couldn't get to sleep last night. I think I didn't turn off all my electrical devices early enough before bed and that is a big tip if you're struggling to get to sleep. Honestly, it's so annoying but it does make a big difference just having an hour of no electrical devices before bed. But that means that I basically need to run to my anatomy session. We have a presentation for my brain and behaviour module and my groups is all about seizures it's actually a really interesting case study and then we listen to the rest of my m groups but this is in the anatomy rooms and if you're not a new subscriber you will know that i can't record anything in the anatomy rooms because of the human tissue act but after that i'm going to settle down in the library and get to work over in the medical school for the day and then me and daisy are thinking of actually going for dinner tonight so that will be a really lovely way to end the day but let's get to the medical school and get through this to-do list after the presentations, I then decided to get on with some more anatomy using Complete Anatomy, which is one of my all-time favourite medical school resources, before having a quick lunch break and then getting on with an hour of my Jew Anki flashcards and then doing a few lectures before finishing off with some editing. It's gone half at five and I just got back from a very damp, cold walk from the medical school. However, I actually did have a really productive day over there. Right now, I'm going to drag myself off to the gym. I have to say, it's like the last thing I feel like doing right now but I'm just holding on to I'm gonna feel amazing after I've gone it's just getting there so despite being in the exact same spot and not vlogging anything at the gym I promise I'm not making it up I actually did go I did arms and I actually ended up having a really good gym session although my body definitely needs a rest day tomorrow as you can see I am in my pajamas me and Daisy have decided to skip out on going for dinner and instead order a delivery we're gonna get yakinori from Selly Oak because neither of us could be bothered to go out I would both just on the wearier side but wanted to still treat ourselves and do something nice. Sushi is one of my favourite foods so after a lovely dinner and catch up with Daisy I then got on with a bit of editing before getting myself off to bed. Good morning everyone and happy Thursday. Actually wait, it's the afternoon everyone. We've had a little bit of a higgledy piggledy start to the day. Of course it did start with my overnight oats but after that I just needed to finish my video which is now all up and ready to go and then I just did a few pre-recorded lectures and then I've actually half got ready now because I'm meeting a friend in town for a coffee after my small group teaching and then I need to run around and do a whole load of bits today so I'm a bit all over the place. However right now it's nearly at one o'clock and I am starving and I'm actually not going to have my meal prep today. I really fancy hummus, carrots and tofu so that is what we're going to make. Grab some food to fuel the day and then scoot off to the medical school for this small group teaching which is all about genetics and cancer and inheritance. It looks really interesting. I've done a little bit of prep so hopefully that isn't too bad and then get into town. After a change for my normal meal prep for lunch I then headed off to the medical school for my small group teaching and then settled down in the library and got on with some pre-recorded lectures before heading off to Birmingham New Street. It's just gone at quarter past seven and I literally just got back from a town. I had such a lovely coffee and then I also popped in to Zara because I don't think I've even mentioned this but I'm actually going to Dubai with my family on Saturday which is so exciting and it feels so surreal saying that. It's our first family holiday since Covid so it's going to be such a special trip and do let me know if you want to see that vlog because I would love to bring you all along. But after what feels like a very higgledy piggledy day I'm absolutely shattered but hopefully some food a little bit of a chill is going to revitalize me because I have to say I am so excited for tonight so many medics in my year are going so it's going to be such a lovely way to end the term food top up makeup get ready and head off for a really exciting night so it's just gone at quarter to nine and we are literally just about to dash out of the door and get to Joe's birthday I am so excited I can't remember if I told you but she's actually hired out the botanist which is going to be so pretty and I absolutely love love it there so I'm so excited but let me show you my outfit because I'm obsessed with how it comes together yes I am wearing pajamas but not often you can say you've been out in your pajamas and been this comfortable I mean this outfit is literally a dream so these are the pajamas I actually have hired this again from her it's from a company called the sleeper and it actually would have been 
way too expensive for me to buy so I thought I'd hire it. Look how gorgeous the sleeves are with these feathers and then I've got my fake little Chanel bag and then I've just put on this white little bralette because I thought it looked really pretty like this with just some nude heels. Before any later I need to go. I'm not going to drink a lot tonight. I haven't decided whether I'm just going to stick with soft drinks tonight or just have a couple because like I said I am really tired. However apparently the drinks at the botanist are so nice so I feel like it might be rude not to just try one. Good morning everyone. So it is finally a Friday and the very last day of term. How scary how quickly this has gone. But anyway, I got up this morning, got some breakfast and got on straight away with a couple of pre-recorded lectures. However, my brain has decided it is the Easter holidays and about time to head home. I still have a few more to finish, which I'm going to see if I have some time to get done tomorrow. But this afternoon, I actually have a few appointments. So I'm getting my brows done. I'm also getting my lashes done and I want to go and have lunch with my mum as well because I just miss her so much and I'm just so excited and so ready to get home now but as you can see there is a lot of tidying and a lot of packing to be done because I'm going home now for three weeks so I need to take quite a bit of stuff back with me. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I seriously hate packing up. It's literally like the worst thing in the entire world, but it's taken me roughly about an hour to get everything packed. It is so empty in here and so weird to think I'm not gonna be here for another three weeks, but let's get on the road. It's about an hour to get home. I mean, I'm not even sure if this is legal, but I've got my Ugg slippers on nice and comfy to drive home and see my mum for lunch. We have made it home and I'm in my room. I'm literally so happy to be back. And and I always say this, but I literally feel like my room is so clean in comparison to my uni room. I promise I do clean it. It's just something about being home home that feels so clean and nice. I have actually got a big pile of bits that I've been ordering for holiday. And then of course, the giveaway pile. And make sure you do enter the giveaway over my Instagram if you haven't already. I'm actually giving away a whole coffee machine and a hamper worth over a hundred pounds to celebrate my new name change. But anyway, we have the fastest turnaround ever. I need to get straight back out to Leamington to go and get my lashes and eyebrows done. And now it's time to get out and pamper myself before the holiday. I've just got back in from Leamington and getting my lashes and brows done. And there is literally no better feeling than fresh brows. I love my brow lady as well. She's absolutely amazing. Frantically been unpacking and kind of packing at the same time. We have this huge pile accumulating of stuff for Dubai. But that is all going on pause because I've actually got two of my best friends from home coming over tonight for a really chilled takeaway. If I didn't have enough going on, I thought I'd just, you know, throw seeing in my friends as well because I really have missed them so much. However, it does mean I feel like I'm losing my head a little bit running around all over the place to get on this flight in time. Anyway, I am going to end the vlog here so I can make sure that I'm actually organised for Dubai. But if you did enjoy the vlog, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know how you're spending your Easter, whether anyone's going away or got any nice plans or just working because when I get back, the revision is really starting and expect loads of revision content. But anyway, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all so soon. Bye!